Hi, welcome back to the Shamrock Quill Studio. Today we're going to do a follow-up video on our pineapple pink quilt that we're working on. We'll be right back to get started with that. And welcome back to the Shamrock Quilt Studio. Okay, we're back. Now, we're working on this uh, pineapple pink project, and this is an adaptation of a pattern in this book, Pineapple Play, more peas there. And here it is again. And we've changed up the colors, and we've traded the orange for pink and the gray for green for this particular project. And we're not doing the borders on the end. We're just going to keep this a little bit smaller, a little more, not quite as long. And um, you are more than welcome to add those borders on if you want to, but we're moving forward this way with the project that I'm working on. So far, we have created four of the squares for the middle of the block. These are squares with half of the side or half of the square being green and half of the square being pink. And what that it really means is that one corner, or in this case, two corners are green and two corners are pink and then the dark pink in the center. We've got four of those done. Two have been trimmed, two have not been trimmed. And I think that on our last video, I did mention that for this size, this is a 10 inch square, this tool, this is the pineapple trim tool. And this video is not sponsored. This is just the tools that I'm using for this project. Part of the great thing about this um, tool, if you decide to use it, is the fact that you can also use this tool to trim up a 10 inch block. And the way you do that is you, like everything else you're using this for, you put that center square, the dark pink one in this case, in the center square box on the tool and line that up. And it just as a double check, there's lines on the side that you can line those up with your seams as well. So then you can use the outside of the template as your trimming lines to make your square square or your block square. Let's see, it was just a little bit here to trim. And then we're gonna flip it around and do the other side the same way, centering up that center square. Kind of reminds me of that old um, game show where I think it was Hollywood Squares where they had somebody in the center square and they were supposed to be the biggest celebrity. Okay, so we're going to trim that up. And it looks like on one of these pieces, it wasn't quite big enough right there. So when we sew that, we're going to have to ease that in just a little bit to get it longer. The other option that we could do is we could take this little bit of seam here out. It's right here. I don't know if you can see that is a little bit shy of where it needs to be. We could take that out and ease it out and sew that seam back in since it's right on the edge. We may do that. And then we do the same thing to trim this one up, but we're, we're going to skip that for right now and move on to the next floor, four blocks that we're making. There are two different kinds of blocks for this. There's the two and the two, and then there's the three and the one. And on this block, three, whoops, I picked a two. Three corners of the four corners in the square are green, and just the one is pink. And we're going to put all eight together to make our design. So on this one, we've got one, two, three, four. This is the fifth round. And the way we're going to trim this up using this tool is we're going to find on this tool where it says round five. And the even numbers are here in the center with the little blocks. 
the odd numbers, you use this cutout sign right here. And you'll see it says 45 degree angle trim line rounds one, five, and seven. And this is five, <clears throat> excuse me, this is five. So we're gonna put down that line on the edge of the green fabric here and we're going to trim this off and let me see if I can just kind of hold that up so you can see it a little bit maybe like that that line goes right here and then we're going to trim across that top line I may have some videos, uh, close-up videos that will accompany this one to show you in a little more detail. And then we're going to trim it off just like that. Let's go on to the next one real quick. And I'll tell you, I like to be just a little bit generous. And the what I'm meaning by that is when it shows that line to line it up, You've got a choice that you can either go and place that printed line on top of the seam or actually what I do is place it so that the white line on the template is on top of the whole green slice, meaning that it's not sitting in the seam, it's sitting just above the seam. And keep in mind, I mean little minimal amounts above the seam, not a eighth of an inch, not a sixteenth of an inch, just a couple of threads maybe. Kind of like when they talk about a scant. This is just a scant more. So I just barely can see, in this case, the pink under the other side of that line, and that's where I trim it. And that gives me just, by the time you do that five or six times in this block, it will probably give you maybe three or four threads further out total and that um, will make sure that you have enough that you can trim at the end. So just that quick we trim that whole thing and now we're ready to move on to the next size piece of fabric and we would pin that in place. It's not particularly finicky as far as um, getting it centered up or anything like that. You just want to make sure the ends come to the end of that. The only one that I would say is finicky is that very, those very first two white strips that you put on the, or yeah, the first two white strips that you put on this center one, I would put those two on, iron it, and then put the other two. And then once you get beyond that, you can put all four on and then press your project. So anyway, we've got, these four done, we've got these four in progress. Uh, we're on, we're getting ready to trim five and go to round six. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the other rounds of these four blocks and get these finished. And when I come back next, we'll have all eight blocks complete and we will start assembling it. I'm so glad that you could join us today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos on this project. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time at the Shamrock Quilt Studio.